Hey, I'm Karen with Applique Market. Today I'm going to show you in this video how to make our in the hoop ornaments. They're really fast and simple. They're made completely in your embroidery machine. You choose whatever fabrics and backing you want. And I'm going to show you in this video how quick they are to put together. So let's get started. Okay, here's what you'll need to make these. First, you need to hoop a lightweight tearaway stabilizer. So that's all you're going to have in your hoop. Then you're going to have your fabric, of course, your heat and bond light that goes on the back of your fabric. You'll need something stiff like either burlap or canvas or some thicker fabric for the background of your ornament. In this case, we use burlap. Um, you could also this you could also use a this is a painter's drop cloth thick canvas. You'll also have the option of putting something inside your ornament, such as batting or this is warm and natural batting it just gives it a little bit of thickness and life for example this one is very thin this was done with just stabilizer and nothing on the inside as opposed to this one which we did with batting inside and it just kind of gives it a little dimension so that's an option you'll need some spray adhesive and of course your fabric scissors and your applique scissors the last thing is you will need a string for the last step so that you can put the string in your ornament. And now we're ready to stitch. Okay, after your placement stitch for the background of the ornament, this is where you're going to put down the background, and this is where you're going to decide if you're going to have batting. So we're going to first put down the batting if you're using it, and then we're going to put the background of the ornament, whatever you choose for your background. Now we're ready to stitch the tack down for these. Okay, so the next steps are going to be just like if you were doing a regular applique. We have the placement for the first piece, which is the manger in here. Now I've put heat and bond light on the back of my fabric. I'm peeling the paper off. If you're not familiar with how to use heat and bond light and you want more detail, we have another video that talks primarily about the heat and bond light. I'm going to spray it with my spray. And now I'm going to go back to the machine and I'm going to stitch the tack down for this. Each of the applique pieces, because this is a vintage style bean stitch design, there is no satin here, so it's going to stitch the bean stitch around and then we're going to trim it close, leaving about an eighth of an inch, and we'll do all the steps that way till we get to the end and I'll show you. Okay, so after you have all the steps of your design stitched and appliqued and cut and trimmed, so the last step of the design 
is a bean stitch outline going back to this back and, and what it will do is it will attach your back onto the back of your ornament. So this is where you need to put your string in. Also, if you didn't use batting in the first step and you want to have some batting in it, you can optionally put your batting in here and sandwich it in. We're not going to do that for this purpose. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the string here and I'm going to tape my string and I'm going to put as much string as you want. I'm going to put the tape so that it doesn't get caught in the stitches so it's above the stitching. I'm going to trim the extra because I had too much string. Now I'm going to put the backing down. So I'm going to put my spray adhesive on the back. Make sure I'm covered. Now I'm going to carefully go to my machine, making sure it stays flat, and we're going to stitch around the last stitch and then we're going to trim and we'll be done. Okay, now all of our stitching is done and the only thing left to do is to unhoop and clean it up and trim it. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tear away our stabilizer from inside the layers. Okay, now that you've torn out your stabilizer, the only thing left to do is we're going to trim around the edge, leaving a little bit of the edge. Now this is the only little tricky part is you don't want to trim your cord, of course. So when we get to that part, we're going to be real careful. So this point, if you did use burlap, it will fray a little. That just contributes to the rustic look. You could trim closer. If you don't want as much fray, you could trim closer up to the bean stitch and really these are very forgiving. So now that I'm here by my cord, I'm going to go through and do just the top. Being careful not to cut the string. And then I'm going to go and cut behind the string. And once I'm around the string, quickly and now my ornament is ready to hang on my tree thanks so much for watching our video today about how to make our in the hoop ornaments I hope you enjoy making these they've been a lot of fun to design you can get these ornaments and all of our other designs at appliquemarket.com <music>